Guten Tag, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is just a quick view uh, of my electric skateboard I just finished building. Um, so, nothing all too special here, except the battery indicator, which is pretty much flipped right now. So, I try it like this. Yeah, the battery indicator over here. And yeah, I just kind of finished it. Or let's say uh, I put it into a drivable state. Uh, kinds that are still missing or stuff that is still missing is pretty much a battery charger and that's to be honest quite all there is uh, yeah so I will sh show you the other side of it right now and yeah please excuse the mess on my table but like I said I just finished building this uh, yeah so this is actually the 3d printed motor mount i kind of designed it on my own uh, this is pretty much also the, the, the same thing uh, just another version of it uh, this also has venting holes but to be honest i don't think i need them uh, yeah so most of the stuff i actually all of the stuff is kind of custom built and designed um, this is the vest mount or oh, not not the vest mount the vest cover yeah so beneath there there's a the vest receiver, uh, the vest controller, uh, yeah, the remote receiver. Then this ugly cable also doubles as my switch. Yeah, so pull out the cable, tuck, problem solved. And beneath here, you will find three 3S batteries, uh, each one with 5000 milliamperes, uh, connected in series. Yeah, so I will get a total of uh, 38 volts, I guess, 42 if they are fully charged. Uh, yeah, was this right? No, 38 is actually wrong. I think it's more like something like 32. Ah, never mind. Um, yeah, thing still missing beneath this one is this BMS. Yeah, so it should go somewhere in here and it should be extended by one of these covers. Yeah, so this one gets slightly longer. Um, yeah, but so far, <laughs> to be honest, I didn't feel like uh, including this one for now because I've got this thing laying around here so long, uh, for so long, that I actually just want to try to, to ride it. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so nothing special about this. At least nothing I can recall of right now, except that pretty much everything here is 3D printed, even the motor mount, uh, yeah, and the large pulleys and the, the smaller one as well. Uh, the motor one is actually 192 kV. It's a Turnergy Aero Drive SK3, whatever. 6374, I think. Uh, this packs actually light uh, quite a lot of power. And the fun thing I figured out so, if you buy this motor, um, you get this one, this propeller extension. If you put it on here, you can see I can actually put in another pulley in here as well. And I think sooner or later I will try this out. But I just have to make sure that this one here over here is more secure, so because otherwise I'm quite sure it will break. But nevertheless, this should actually work. Yeah. So for the um, 3D printer parts themselves, um, I will put in the links in the description if you want to try it out, especially the motor mod. I would be quite happy if someone else actually tries this and tells me tells me if it works or not. Uh, yeah. Uh, top speed on this thing is something about 40, 45, since I'm a rather heavy rider with like 110 kilos, um, this is probably not the top speed I will reach, uh, but still 35 is more than enough. Uh, range, I can't tell you about that anything yet, uh, because I actually have to do a range test, uh, even though the batteries are not really broken in yet, so I don't expect, expect all too much from them. Um, but I'm quite sure it will reach something about at, at least 8 to 10 kilometers. Yeah, that's it for me. That's me. That's it from the board. Or for the board. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions or whatever, feel free to write me. Feel free to try the link stuff uh, if you have a 3 printer, of course. Um, and by the way, if you print this, uh, either try a very hard nylon or go with PETG. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, stay safe.